that, folks. All right. How's everyone doing? So, uh, a couple things. Uh, so we're playing Vile Goblins today. I'll talk about the build a little bit in terms of uh, writing plans. Uh, I am, you know, kind of earnestly beginning work on revamping the old primer from 2020. Uh, so for those who don't know, so there's the Vile Goblins primer. It's originally on the source, like the, the forums. Uh, that got transposed to like kind of when everybody switched over to Discord. But it was really out of date, so I did a big update of it in 2020. And I think time's come to do another update. So we're going to be, it's going to be a pretty substantial, you know, piece of work. So I've got a fair amount of time. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. <laughs> Uh, that's a, that's a fun, that's a fun set. What game were you on? Um, but yeah, so, so we'll be doing the Vile Goblins Primer over the next, you know, month or so. Still figuring out what I want to post on Patreon in the meantime. Just finished game three. Okay, nice. Um, So I'm going to figure out an article to post this month still. Uh, that's not the primer. It'll probably be something Turbo Muxus related, I imagine. Um, as far as this build goes, <laughs> that is that's a really good way to describe Minnie's reactions to things. <laughs> I mean, I under uh, honestly, all I feel like all the other ASL players are remarkably stone cold, kind of no matter what. And like Mini is actually the normal one, but just because he's the only one that like reacts to his high stakes games as if they're high stakes games, you know, he looks like the odd guy out. But everybody else is like playing, you know, the most intense shit they've ever done in their lives. And they're just like, go shake the hand, you know, like, it's just completely neutral. The mini is, you know, rolling his eyes and yeah. Yeah, I totally, I could go, we could go for some more reactions from the players. We're getting really off topic. This is a, this is a Magic Gathering stream, not a Brood War stream, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> Brewboar is awesome, though. Absolutely sick. Um, so, as far as what I've been doing, uh, I've been largely happy with File Goblins, um, but I did have this kind of consistent thing that was bothering me, which is that the deck didn't have a lot of proactive twos. So the deck was looking like this, or I was two. I did have a four one with a couple of main deck hearses because hearse is just really good right now. Um, but I really wanted more proactive twos, and I was like, "Well, there's Mogwar Marshal, which is like it's very you know something you're very happy to play on turn two, but it's not. It's proactive, but just not aggressive." Um, Exactly. And it can be a little low impact later in the game, but you basically always want one in deck for ritual reasons. I was like, oh, maybe second Mog War Marshal. And I was thinking about, well, what if I just played fourth Battlecry Goblin, or if I played some Pile Drivers? Um, but I wanted something a bit more uh, multifaceted than those cards, because those cards are like only good on attacking. Obviously, Battlecry is really good, but um, they are sort of redundant in multiples to some degree. Like, I mean, obviously, come if you have two of them and you and you get double pack tactics, and it's like really good. Um, and they are like a high removal priority, so you do want a bunch of them. But also, they, you know, you don't always have like red mana to sink into them because you want to be casting the spells in your hand, kind of thing. Um, 
and also they don't play I, I felt this tension battle cry and broadside have a bit of tension in them just because you know this wants you to develop your board this wants you to get rid of your board um and i was like well you know maybe obviously the master is everywhere still but it's notably there is a uptick in rug delver and a matchup that we always felt that horde master thrived in was rug delver because they're playing like six one mana removal spells and horde master turns all of their removal into cantrips for you and also let's like turn on lackey uh push through delver and trc and you just get like free jump blocks um which is really nice and by really nice it's like it's like almost game winning if you go like cavern lackey they play Delver TRC, you go Horde Master, attack. Like, there's like, okay, block, I guess. And now they have to, like, find an answer to the Lackey, kill it, you maybe draw a card. Uh, your Lord's just still in play. Like, it's it's good. It's all good. Um, yeah, so it, it, it was really good. It was just that the... The popularity of Bow Masters made it really, really hard to justify. Um, I was like really happy with it as a. Well, it took some t tuning around. Like it was like, oh, this is definitely a four X, and I was like, well, maybe it's not a four X. And then we kind of went back in circles around to yes, it is, but you just have to support it in like the right way. Um. So here, it's more about rounding out the curve a little bit, and also. Um, I also like that it's a little bit of it's some card advantage. Like you don't get cards off of it as often as you would think, um, but the timing window on the trigger is quite generous because end of your next end step. Um, so, or end of your next turn rather specifically, end of your next turn. Um, so you get a long time. Yeah, I really liked I really liked Horde Master. Ideally, in like the ideal world, I would want to build goblins with Horde, like four Horde Masters, three Mogwa Marshals, like War Chief, and then just like allow the deck to kind of snowball into a storm deck. Um, you can't really quite do that because of uh, Bowmaster specifically, but just sort of interaction is good against that. So this is just like adding a little bit of durability. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to I, that made me think of bringing Horde Master back in is the rise of Doorkeeper Thrall. So now I want card advantage that isn't tied to ETB effects. Um, and then it also, you know, pumping your team means that 1-1s one can attack into the 1-2, right? So that's that. So I moved Sting Scourger into the sideboard since Sting Scourger really shines in post-board games where you ley line your scam opponent and then they try to animate your stuff and then you sting scourge it back to your hand and it's just like a very clean two for one um because it like counters it, it basically counters the discard spell and the reanimate at the same time um and then, you know it has like it's it's other small utilities um and then i have found trash master really slow and kind of not useful lately so i swapped it for crater maker because crater maker kills thrill it's just cheaper you can board it in on like lots of matchups hey jared um and i will say yeah jared jared basically gave me this idea um how the rest of that local go for you you said you beat roland and then didn't say anything so i assume not phenomenal <laughs> Um, oh, and then I've gone back to Blood Moon instead of Magus and Moon because the five color control decks are playing Solitude, and that makes me sad. Makes Magus very sad. So, so I had a four one with this with the one league I played. Um, I punched it against Painter because I played was playing at three in the morning, and then I beat everyone else. No Goblin Settler. Wasteland is my Goblin Settler. All right. All right, we're on the play. Opponent, Delver player. This is a pretty sweet hand. Beat Shadow and Grixis, Scaminator, and Pox. Pox. Gross. 
So yeah, so how are the horde matches? Because that sounds like four bowmaster decks to me. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be. This is like one of those lackey or vile things. Eh, it's probably. It's vile. I'm just not gonna overthink it. It's vile. Because the thing is, like, putting in matron. Like, if I go lackey, horde master, matron, I'm, it's gonna be really unclear what I even want a matron for. So let's just. Give file the best chance you can have to resolve. It's not resolving. I'm sad. Force pitch days. Okay. All right, Grixis Delver. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Here's a conundrum. I feel like it is very unlikely my opponent would... Yeah, no attacking feels like it has to be not a Boatmaster. So I think I am clear to Horde Master attack. Uh, I could get Wasteland if less dazed here, but I'll take the two for one. Okay. So unless my opponent's mind gaming the shit out of me, I feel like this means no bowmaster. Yeah, okay. Free card. Ho 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 ho. Uh, let's get a bad lands. That was really good. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You gonna waste on me again? I don't think my opponent has days based on how this is playing. I think my opponent's hand is like red cards and Merc ties. So I'm just gonna get Moxus. Could be Brazen Borrower. Yeah, okay. No shuffle. Slightly sedge. Okay. That's good for me. I'm gonna get uh so Mark Tide would be a five five. So I just get bombardiers? OK, 
Okay, no longer wants the card on top. is fairly sick. Ooh, I get a free patch like next turn. And I win. All right, Horde Master is really good that game. Pretty sweet. So, Stalactite Stalker. makes Pyrokinesis better, and I kind of waffle about on Blood Moon versus Chalice. The Chalice is... The Stalkers could be replacing Delvers. Um, probably don't need three Kinesis either way. Um... So if the Stalkers are on top of Delvers, then Chalice is better. Um, Chalice is worse against Grixis because they have Molten Collapse now. Plus Meltdown, so maybe, especially I'm on the draw, maybe I'll just do this, be a little more spell heavy. And what am I cutting? Three more cuts? That's kind of a lot of cuts. I can cut the taiga if I want to. I'm already at three ringleaders. I could trim a name sticker. Maybe I got a two ringleaders because of Ford Master. I do I do have to trim like this stuff. Maybe I just leave this the taiga. I don't love trimming Skirk that much, but this seems fine. This is like pretty low to the ground. Like only three four drops keeps you from being clunky, which is maybe the reason to cut name sticker, but name sticker is good for tempo. Okay. It's a little it's a little soft. Um, but it's got a lot of the good spells. Okay. Notably a goblin. Mm. Kinda need to fetch mountain here. Any dazers in chat? Holy shit, it resolved. <laughs> it means they have an answer, or I'm very lucky. Might just mean meltdown for one here. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. Got your shadow opponent with the old goblin's claws. Love it. All right, I take two. I have to sting scourger this thing a couple turns from now. Ooh, second wasteland's really good. Uh, I'm not gonna play around stifle because I want to not grow this. Okay. 
Bullshit. Oh, okay. Alright. I guess I avoided the two for one. Oh, hello. Uh huh. Kind of need to stop taking damage. But also, I would love to catch a second thing, but probably not going to get that chance. So I think I do this. Okay. A dead to Merc Tide. Okay. Second pyrokinesis? No. Bull. Alright. Don't love my spot. Bowmaster or Merktide. Yeah. Take four. No, my my Taiga. I needed that. That's amusingly effective. Wish I could have gotten the uh Huh? Okay. No, fetch land. Hmm. My kingdom for a second pyrokinesis? Wasteland kind of punished me pretty badly, but I think if I'd play, if I had not wastelanded, it just would have gotten worse to some degree. All right, so we saw the mountain collapse. Kind of expected stuff. I'm on the play now, so that makes Lackey better. I'm sure, there's a lot of one drops my opponent played. But if I'm on the play, I'm not sure they they matter that much. I can handle them a lot more easily. I'm gonna try my name sticker. Very possible these pyre blasts should be chalices, but I like it. Alright, with this port, we can get like two or three guaranteed vial activations. Which is what you want. DRC. Okay. Bobble. Bobble's cheating. 
Okay, Mill Molten Collapse. <laughs> well, it could be telling of a Lamplight Hand, or they already have a Vile Answer. Now, I guess there's probably four Vile Answers post board. Cavern's a banger. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be a good patch like Mons. And a rep, huh? A lot of options here. I think I just cast the Pashlik. Get the two for one on the Lackey. Oh, no, I'm dumb. That's not a two for one. All right, that was a lot worse than what I wanted it to be. We're still fine, though. A little sad about it. No Merc died. Okay. Play Merc died. Now, it's only a 4-4. Four, four. So what I think I want to do here is battle cry, upkeep, violin sting scourger, tick to 3. I could just leave it on 2, actually. I don't, yeah, there's not really a reason, because I could draw a name sticker. So leave Violin 2. Okay, we drew Matron. And that's a really good draw. Doesn't really fit with the sequencing. But what I think I'm going to do is just... Sting Scourger, activate Battlecry, swing for seven. Kind of hard to pass on swing for seven. Put this back in the hand, an opponent probably has another one. Alternatively, I 
don't do that much. Wish I had a land drop, but that's okay. Don't all, we're doing all right in Legacy here. We're in a game three. So now opponent kind of needs to kill Battlecry, which means Matron might be able to get Bombardiers. That's funny. <laughs> I, I, I don't have Muxus in my deck. <laughs> Days, okay. We recasting Merktide. <laughs> All right, so both hand is two lands, Merktide. Yeah, Sting Scourge is a weird card. Sting Scourger. Uh. It's from Planar Chaos, so. It hits Muxus. It's it's not uncommon for people to board it in, because a lot of Delver's Die boards have a bunch of cages right now because of Turbo Muxus, and Vile gets sort of sidestep it by not having Muxus in your deck post board. Wait, uh, oh, Aklith. You had a double player against you. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. This opponent hand is a land, so there's no way they can have a... Uh, Force of Will. Uh, I can't just win, can I? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, they, yeah, they changed how Red Blast works. Okay. So now we just uh, matron for Slink Gang next turn, and that's the game. All right, that's a pretty sweet one. That's a pretty like classic goblins versus Delver kind of battle. Vile's really important. Um, yep, yeah, I find the ponder thing kind of unintuitive. I wish it would just say whether or not they shuffled. Existential dread, thanks for the follow. Mostly joking, serious question. How have you given thought to revisiting your own goblins? Uh, I have not. I have not given any thought to that, but let's see. What is what is your own goblins? Use what did it what did it look like? Uh No, that's... I might have... Yeah, I must have deleted it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure. The mana base is really sus on that. You know. All right, on the play. Winning some die rolls today. Unkeepable hand. Okay. Um, hmm. Put a last scene on eight cast. I guess six cast, as it were. We, we did harvest the one blue player we faced, yes. This is like an interesting question. I think it's the second name sticker. And we just hope we draw lands. Or they like force of will this lackey and then we mass vandal their first play. Mass vandal there's a saga. We get a two mana stone rain. Wait, force switch ponder. Oh no. This is not <laughs> it's not eight cast. <laughs> Shit. Uh it could be control, in which case mass vandal's still quite good. Ancient tomb? Need to draw a land, need to draw a land. So bad. Okay, basic island, brainstorm. Hmm. Kind of getting combo vibes. Off Delta. Shit. It's not what I wanted. Yeah, Riscamator could be. Yeah. All right. Well, sometimes you keep a two lander and it doesn't work out. Okay, maybe it does. That is my only Taiga, so I do have to draw a Cavern in order to cast this Mass Vendel, which may or may not matter. I could have a 1-3 in play days, sure. If this fetches in tomb, I am dead. Okay. Doesn't have in tomb. Shield Ritz Edict. Okay. Uh, is this just Merktide? Just 7 7 Merktide in turn 4. I guess this is Bug? This is just like a really weird Bug Beans hand. Oh, it's a 5 5. Oh, they just have more Merktides, and I have yet to draw stuff. Not my favorite. I like... Hmm. In Misty Rainforest, it, it kind of has to be Bug. Uh, I guess I will cycle Incinerator. End of turn. I don't want to do it now because of Bowmaster. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it right here. I'm sort of dead no matter what, so. Okay, Ancient Tomb is one of my better draws. Kind of wish I had Distinct Scourger in my main deck. No shuffle means the game is over, though. Looks like I can have Fatal Push, Edict. Like, 
I will play around days. Like, what am I even doing here, actually? Okay, I think my best shot is actually that they let this make him resolve. I get Muxus. Um, no, let my Matron resolve. Okay. Yeah, well, I, now I, I can top deck Muxus here. Thoughts. Took the masked vandal. Oh, they just have. The, okay. This is this is just straight. I'm like really confused by the the blue black tap land. I'm um, this has to be bug. It has to be. So in which case, so I'm on the play. Rule spells don't matter. Is it Shadow? I don't think Shadow would play Misty Rainforest. Do I want a crater maker in my deck just just in case? I don't think so. Maybe. I think I just. I'm gonna. I'm just. Unsure what my opponent is doing, so other than just casting a Murktide. Kind of, kind of rough draws that game. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, the wastelands were really good. Yeah, the thought thought sees is a bug thing. Pretty sure Bug Beanstalk plays thought sees, and not many other decks do. Ugh. His hands like good lands and spells, but doesn't do anything till turn three. I think I can do better. Yeah, this is better. Uh, what do I do? Basically, keeping Pyroblast or Horde Master, or ditching a land. I'm definitely I'm not going to ditch a land because that's how you lose. I will ditch the Horde Master. If I get Thought Seized, it does kind of suck. Flooded Strand, Island, D huh? Huh? <laughs> I cut all my removal spells. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. Thought sees. Uh, okay. Now I really don't know what is going on. Well, unfortunately I kind of have to trade because I don't have any removal in my deck, so I'm not going to be able to kill the Delver later. It's hard to beat Delver when you cut all your removal spells, I gotta say.
So I guess I drew the Force of Will, because they would have forced the Lackey, I presume. Backup Matron's nice. Hydra Blast. Nothing. Okay. Pasha Leak. Peter, thanks for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. that trade. No attacks. Uh, opponent hasn't had, well, mm, they could have days still. Uh, do I play around days? I think I very regretfully play on days. Okay. I guess I got about one and a half for one. Every time. Let's just draw cavern. Okay. It's kind of a weird time to do that. I was probably going to pay Echo. Hmm. Well, it's not doing anything. This might be the, so this is the time to either play in today's or play around Stifle. Though they probably wouldn't have done that if they had a stifle. <sighs> also gets under Hydra Blast. I don't know. I don't want to think too hard. This is probably getting dazed, but... Oh, no, okay. We did it. You know, Wasteland plus Horde Master seems pretty good next turn. I've got three 1-1s one that'll become 2-2s. Two Maybe draw some cards. Alternatively, it's Battle Cry. Could also get broadside. Broadside is also good here. Punt has missed land drops, so the so like I kind of want to be able to waste land, but also I want three mana sources for all my three drops. Um, it's kind of tough. I don't know if it's right, but I'm just going to get the word master just because it might be fun. It's also better if they draw. It's the best line if they draw a wasteland. 
What I really want to draw is Aether Isle. Well, that's terrifying. That's like maximum scary brainstorm. I feel like we're pretty dead this game, but I also cited all, like, most of the... I mean, granted, Expert would not be castable. So, you know, it's kind of whatever, but I would have liked, you know, one to do Pyrokinesis, Chalice. Like, if this is just blue-black Delver, Chalice is insane. Oh, okay. We're doing it. I really want to draw a cat. If I draw a Cavern Souls, it'd be so good. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, land land of any kind is good. Port is actually quite a strong one. Forcible. Pitching Delver. Sure. Uh. Do I just start getting in for one? Simplify the board a bit? Kind of bad if I draw Battlecry, but... Kind of need to be the aggressor. Okay. Okay. Gaming. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna cast this Blood Moon so I can't get Merktided. Oh, they can't cast Borrower now. They topped a card. Could be a Delver. I like Grey Ogre days. This also plays around Edict. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Get to keep my Bombardiers. <laughs> Grey Ogre meet two mana four spike. <laughs> I'm really happy I attacked for three that turn like four turns ago. Okay, that was a grind and a half. Okay, so blue black Delver. Slightly worse sensor, yeah. Uh let's cut this mass vandal. Let's cut these muxuses. Let's bring this back in, this back in, this back in, this in. And don't really want Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mogwar Marshall Toka attacking six times. Uh okay, hold on. Do I actually want Pyrokinesis? Maybe I just want one as a hedge. And but they're playing Stifle and Thoughtseize, so I think I am gonna play the chalices. Uh, I'm going to trim a lackey because I'm on the draw. 
Um, can I trim a name sticker? Tyga? No, nah, they're playing Stifle. I, I, I want all my lands. Um, this is a little tricky. Go to two ringleaders. One Skirk. A kind of, yeah, that sounds good. So I'll probably go. If my opponent goes land pass, it's probably a stifle. Well, that's a really good draw. Shit. <laughs> huh. I have so many options here. So I can go Badlands Lackey to try to eat a daze. I can go Cavern Lackey to get through a counterspell and then Ancient Tomb Chalice next turn. Uh, I, but I could also go Ancient Tomb, just cast Vile. So I can resolve Vial around days, and then if they don't waste the if they don't waste the Ancient Tomb, then I can resolve Chalice around days the following turn, which seems good. I think Ancient Tomb Vial is the play because that also protects my red sources. Does deal me some damage though. Okay. Get the tap land. Keep it on top. Not Wasteland. Ponder. Okay. So now this turn I go Badlands Chalice. This is a Stalker. No! Come on. Ugh! Thoughtseize is really annoying. When a Goblin start playing Soul Lands. Um. Bra name sticker broadside made getting to three mana really important. Ugh. Wow, that takes the wind out of my sails so much. I wish this Tygo was something else. I'm just gonna be a Merc Tide next turn and die. That's okay. I, I was definitely not supposed to. Uh, Just like turn one chalice for one, I think. Please wasteland me. Cool. Straw, not that. Don't even have anything. Oh, maybe they stifle it. Fuck, man. Oh, I just drew two lands, so I don't even get to do anything. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so much. So I know my hand. Well, I could have a Pyroblast or something. Oh, 
Spell Master. Yeah. Tide. Fuck. All right, Bombardier's really good draw. We flooded really badly this game. Pretty frustrating. Had really good spells in the opener and then just drew like kind of dog shit. That's a card in your deck. Sure, of course it is. More mana sources. And yeah, we're just dead. Alright, well, we drew extremely poorly. And GD. Wow, okay, just... I mean, I guess I oversight... I mean, we didn't draw any separate cards, so... Kinda, whatever. Well, we drew the Chalice, but... Yeah, the only thing I could have done differently is just jam the Chalice on turn one, but I'm like... 9 million percent sure opponent had days the whole time, so... Alright, we're on the play again. This hand is not good. Okay. I'm actually going to keep the Muxus. Very, anti very anticlimactic uh, games. One and three, I feel. Well, game one more than anything. We just didn't get to do anything. Um, game three, we were set up really well. But sometimes you get thoughts used, and then you draw five lands. OK. Mm-hmm. Thought cast. Chow someone. Deal. I think I'm masked vandaling this Let's see the side nod. Really do need to draw a land though. This is arguably incorrect, but I think Opponent had an had a saga. They would have. Played it. And I want to. I think the not cracking bobble says there's an affinity card or a Kappa Cannon here, so. Okay. Munitions expert? Okay, that's kind of bricks. Alright, munitions expert one time. Okay. 
Okay, I'll I'll take that. Um I want to get this Muxus into play. So I think I just get expert because then I'll go expert the Emery into Muxus the following turn. I don't want to get sticker because I don't want to ram into force of will. There's only two cards, but I've had cavern the whole game, so an opponent that hasn't been doing anything. So yeah, I think clearing the Emery with expert seems prudent. If I draw a land, I'll probably just play the Muxus. And yeah, we're not under... Okay, they can see it. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so Mass Vandal on the seat seems to have been good. Alright, we've got a lot of good cards for this matchup. We've got Chalice. We've got Crater Maker's okay. Red Blast is good. Sting Scourger is not good. Pyrokinesis is okay. Blood Moon is very meh. So on the draw... Oh, Horde Master's really good in this matchup. So that might make me reevaluate Lackey. I often trim Lackey in this matchup, but Horde Master pushing through Emery is like a big deal. So I might just... I don't want to. I never want to draw two vials because of needle off of Saga or Emery, which is reasonably common. I don't need more than one ringleader. Yeah, so sideboarding in this matchup always lot like maps really weirdly. Um, I do want the one pyrokinesis. Am I? Am I? <laughs> am I leaving in one vial? I think I'm leaving in one vial. Calculated. If you draw it, it's good. <laughs> you never <laughs> go further than that. This hand is not... It has some good pieces. Like Ancient Tomb is good in the Ancient Tomb Mirror. Cavern's great. These cards are okay, but... Uh, sure. Ditch the Battle Cry. We'll go Skirk into Expert into Ringleader. TNN is definitely invalidated by Fire. Like, that's the first true name nemesis I've seen in, like, two years, at least. Probably more. Well, fuck. <laughs> All right. Opponent, that's illegal. <laughs> I want my battle cry back. Hmm. Oh, but I kept a, a shit hand because I had Torpor Orb. Okay. We can win these. That's one way to win these. Alright, opponent. Are you ready to defeat vanilla creatures? I think the best thing I could draw would be... Yeah, Horde Master. Grey Ogre. Okay, we've got Grey Ogre. Uh, I want to shuffle because I have Battle Cry in the bottom of my deck, and that's one of my better draws. Oh, I should have just cast Name Sticker there. That was dumb. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I probably should have cast it. Prospector's basically tougher. <laughs> All right, they can sack their land to bounce my guy. <laughs> this is a very funny game. 
Torn Torpor Orb, get Wastelanded, die to one ones. Okay. We're looking for Bombardiers, we're looking for Battlecry, we're looking for Horde Master. Uh, Chalice on Zero would also be good. Crater Maker would be game winning. We should do have a lot of good draws. Uh. All right. We're entering the danger zone. Okay, opponent still can't cast anything. We're getting a lot of free damage. Oh. Uh, so this is seven, or this is two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if I get dismembered, I can just pump again. Okay, so this is this is the trick, right? Bam. Activating abilities. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, now we have lethal ringleader next turn. Maybe you should have just played Ringleader that turn, because they're probably going to tap out this turn, and the battle cry gets in there. Opponent needs Shadow Spear to get out of this. <laughs> nice combo. <laughs> We've defeated the turn one Torpor Orb. Let's go. <laughs> Once copied a chain lightning that dealt three to your tinder wall. A second level for mana since it doesn't die until it stays with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I have done that with, with Prospector, Chain Lightning, Targeting Prospector. What are you doing with Tinderwall, Evan? Hmm? All right, another one of these two landers that keep not working, but we're going to keep trying them. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Let me just play. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Slime. We're getting slimed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow, I wonder what spell you're going to cast off your Ancient Tomb Chromox. Wow, Slime Against Humanity, didn't see that coming. <sighs> okay, we drew a third land. So, I can throw the Lackey into the Ooze to kill the Chromox. I wish I had a Stingscourger in my main deck right now. 
Not gonna lie. That seems bad, because if they don't, well, <laughs> all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight slimes. How many slimes does this deck play? Also, can I win if I sack the lackey? Because that gives them freedom to attack. 26 of them? Jesus Christ. Um... I'm going to take the risk and hope there isn't more slime. Because I think that's my play to win line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rewarded. Cast Elvish Spirit Guide. Elvish. <laughs> uh huh. Attack. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Calculated risk. Uh, can I take, I don't want to take any damage off my lands if I can help it. Okay. Muxus. Okay, those are pretty good. Now, lethal next turn through like a lot of blockers. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Let's go. Turn one nine nine trampler. Have you met Goblin Lackey? <laughs> Stig Scourger, get the fuck in here. Um, problem is, I don't think we have any sideboard cards. Chalice on three. <laughs> You know, Chalice on three is not the worst thing I've heard. Crater Maker to blow up Chromoxes seems decent. Has Hordemaster been so far? It was really good in the game in the first round against Grixis Delver. It was really good. Uh, do... I need... Well, okay, hold on. These decks do pivot into the green initiative, dude, don't they? Surgical would be nice, yes. Surgical here oozes Sting Scourger at GG. So Pyrokinesis might be... Pyrokinesis is also good if they don't have the Serum Powder, right? Or did they just not keep hands without Serum Powder? Do they always Serum Powder? Is that how you play this deck? Chalice on zero could also screw them up, though very unlikely on the draw. What does stickers do in Moto? It's it's a dice roll. So the the calculation is basically the same as as if they were stickers, but it's just done differently, basically. 
but you don't know at the beginning of the game, which is different. Uh, I kind of want Pyrokinesis as a hedge, and I suspect Expert and Vial I can cut. Maybe I want Expert in my deck to flip off of Muxus. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this hand casts Muxus pretty quickly, so I will keep. This is a turn three Muxus. Hopefully we live that long. Okay, Forest. Chromox. Pass. Okay. Ancient Tomb is an insane draw. Okay. So now we have turn two Muxes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, that is a 4-4. Four, four. I think I'm about to do something that is a lot better than a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, Mog War Marshal. Uh, that's a ritual. So I will do that first. Turn to Muxus. So this is like the really nice thing about Vial Goblins is that sometimes you get to draw like Turbo Muxus. This pause is like making me anxious. Okay, five mana. Pretty good. We should kill this turn now. Okay, we whiffed on the ringleader. Six mana. Yep. They were on this deck three weeks ago? Holy shit. Uh, so we can just get Battle Cry. Kaboom. All right, we have we have defeated the the ooze menace. All right, let's see if we <laughs> skip the fifth match. <laughs> yeah, T turn two kill with vile goblins. Didn't even involve Goblin Lackey. Uh, Paranormal Inactivity thanks to the follow, and uh, Captain Robatsu thanks to the follow as well. The I don't I don't know why the alerts don't work anymore. I just have to pay attention. Matchups have been Grixis Delver, Blue Black Delver, which really threw me for a loop. Um, Eight cast and slimes. <laughs> So, it would be cool to get the 4 1, but also always nice to have the 3 2 locked in. We lost to the Blue Back Delver, because game one, I kept a 2 lander with Lackey. Lackey got forced, and then I didn't draw a land for a while, and I also got wastelanded twice as soon as I did. And they played two Merc Tides. And so I assumed it was Bug Beanstalk, and then I sided completely incorrectly, somehow won game two anyway. Game two was pretty sick. And then game three, I had a really good start. My chalice got thought seized after I went turn on file. And then I drew like five lands, Mog War Marshal. <laughs> like I connected with Lackey and my hand was expert four lands. <laughs> it was not my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I drew, it was like five lands, Mog War Marshal, name sticker. 
next draw was name sticker and as my is just like super super flooded which can happen in this deck i mean i did side out a ringleader which uh like if i had sided out a name sticker and kept in a ringleader which i considered doing um and i drew a ringleader that turn winnable um but yeah kind of just fizzled out and died it was also the land. It was also the fact that none of the lands were utility lands, because if I was drawing wastelands and ports, they probably wouldn't have been able to do anything that game, if I remember correctly. But Killaby? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm so dead. All right, rip the four one. Killaby only plays the most insane combo decks you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Yeah. See, I mean, this is a keyboard hand, but it doesn't matter because Killaby fucking loves Echo Vions. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is about as degenerate as a magic deck can ever get. Oh, there's eight. There's eight wheels. There's ten wheels. Plus gambles. What the fuck is Goose Gustha's scepter? I've never seen this card in my life. I don't understand. Leyline of Anticipation. You've got Torpor Orb, Dismember, and Blue Elemental Blast in the sideboard. I'm so dead. How much worse is Goblins in Paper? Uh, not? Uh huh. Draw 14. <laughs> no, it's it's not. I mean, it's... You can't roll 6 twice, which is the main, like, power differentiation, but uh, you know how much mana it's going to produce before you even cast it, which is a pretty big upside. So, it's... I think it's like a lateral shift. You can mulligan more aggressively in paper is a difference. I do not. All right. So exile a card from your hand face down. You may look at it as long as it is remains exiled. Return a card you own. Okay, so you can tap it. So it's like a way to keep a card with LED, I guess. There's an enlightened tutor. Oh my god. I literally, I hate this this kind of deck. It's just so tedious, but, you know, this is what Killaby does. Information from, I don't think it's that relevant, no. I, I just don't think it matters that much. Like, combo players might kill you on turn one more often? Was it? Do you have 2d6, I think? Uh, yeah. Where's my D6? It's okay. No, here it is. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Null rods? Yeah, I mean, you don't live long enough to cast Null Rod is the problem. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, you can present stickers without goblins or without sticker cards in your deck as currently wizards have said that they are looking to change the rules so that people don't do that or don't feel like they should do that um we don't know what that means yet but it means something i think my opponent's drawn like 500 cards this game what is a sticker sheet oh boy i don't even know 
if I want to explain. Because <laughs> it's just kind of clunky and silly. All right, I've been grape shotted for 32 on turn one. Okay. Sideboarding is pretty easy. Kabam. Yeah, so theoretically, according to the rule, like, <clears throat> if you want to be strictly speaking optimal about everything, uh... Yeah, so it was. it's part of the Unfinity stuff that made it into the real game. Uh, this hand would be good against normal combo decks, but we are not facing normal combo decks. This is a dog shit hand that I probably have to keep, which sucks. Um, we're just going to lose, but, you know, we'll put back Lexus. Uh, I should have kept Moxus in case a top deck lackey. That was wrong. Kind of surprised he left this in against me. I guess it gets under Chalice. Bash the stamp Stampede, thanks for the follow. <laughs> End of your turn one, Chromax. <laughs> Imprint City and Spirit Guide. Gamble? Okay. Gamble with a ley line in play is a lot worse. Uh, okay. Well, they probably kept what they got what they wanted. Discard second Chromox is probably best case scenario. Uh, yep. 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 Wasteland? Uh, Alright, so need to draw a Mass Vandal. Or Wasteland. So I'm going to play the Mogwar Marshals so that I can get something in my graveyard for Vandal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jerry. That is sad. Surge Node. Okay. I guess. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> so dumb. We're just gonna die to a sea of contra constructs. Of course, now I, I cut my trash master. Okay, there's wasteland. <sighs> okay, can I? Can let me let me let me see what I can do here. So if I wasteland this. Yeah, all right, here's the real question. Does he have Shadow Spear in his deck? If the answer is yes, then we're, like, dead. I do not see one. Um... So two constructs will be five fives. This can theoretically beat five fives. Can also block. Oh, there'll be six sixes. Uh.
Okay. All right, six sixes. Can we beat six sixes? Um, oh, that gets in the ley line answer. Didn't think of that. Okay. I can kill the haywire mite. But there's only one card in hand. So, like, how much do I fight over it? I don't think we care. Because <laughs> Spirit Guide copy it. That would be demonic. <laughs> it does take a it does take uh the constructs down. Which is nice. Shrinks. And clearing blockers is also relevant. I think I do kill this. I mean, what else am I doing? Matroning for a vandal to kill a con to kill a construct. Governor. Matron for sticker, maybe. Non token, yeah, okay. So we chump block. I wish that was not an ancient tomb. I'm probably getting sling gang. Prospector is not bad. Uh, oh, these are, oh no, these can grow. So I need to be careful of that. Should have played Prospector first, I guess. Uh, I could just get Moxis, but that's bad if the script doesn't resolve or dies to something. Vandal or Slinking. So if it's Vandal, I block block. I think, I think it has to be Vandal. I don't think Slinking is actually going to be good enough. I 
to think about Hydroblast and Dismember. I think I can attack with Bombardiers. If they have two removal spells, then I die. I think I just accept that. So don't kill a construct because then I will die. Do you wish I had trash master. <laughs> So I'm blocking here, and I'm blocking... Do I block with Battlecry? Because... I mean, my opponent... No, I think it's... Staying alive, staying alive. My activating battle cry. Is that lethal? No, right? It's three, six, eight, nine, nine plus four. No, it's not. Okay. This ancient tomb is rather painful. Yeah, they can grow their dude in response, both because of Leon Anticipation and also uh, Mycosynth Gardens. <laughs> Come on! I don't, I don't know if I can win this. <laughs> this is just too much nonsense. Maybe if I had attacked more, I think I just would have died. Need to draw matron. Yeah, honestly, I'm losing to my own ancient tomb. If I if I if this was just a regular land this whole game, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, do I attack? Do I attack? Or do I just go for the double block? Double block forces the grow, and then I... Yeah, man, this ancient team is so bad. It's like... Okay. I think... I think I wait. Uh... 
And I think I actually just block with Battle Cry. Yeah, just ride the Horde Master chump after chump, exactly. Matron! Okay, <laughs> we're alive. <laughs> oh, Bomba. Uh, that is... Not lethal. That is eight damage. Oh, this ancient tomb. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to draw something. Bomba? Okay. <laughs> Hanging on by the skin of my teeth. So now I can attack with this. Block with the Horde Master. One one creature per per bombardiers. Still opponent needs to have straight up nothing. <laughs> well I guess you can have all the zero mana artifacts. You want. <laughs> Exile Leland Void, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my god! What? I don't care. I don't care if I lose game three. <laughs> Holy shit! I I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Yeah, shout outs to Layla in the Void. Oh my god. Wow. I'm like. I'm fucking stunned. Shoutouts to Horde Master. Horde Master was so good that game <laughs> for such a weird reason. Uh, do I want Blood Moon for the Saga pivot? They're shutting off my own Vandal and Sling Gang can matter. <sighs> wow, that was... I mean, I think that game goes to show there's something to be said for Goblin Density, so I, th I think I'm just holding on to dear fucking life. Hopefully we get a Ley Line plus... Uh... Okay, Ley Line, neither of those. Okay, Ley Line plus Wasteland. Uh, Ditch the War Marshal, I think?
Yeah, okay, we got the answer this time. Yeah, and the lackey. Horde Master ain't bad. I'm gonna upkeep Wasteland because of Stifle. <laughs> All right, no second Saga would be nice. Okay. Chalice on zero. Battle cry, okay. Lackey's in. Is this real life? Doesn't feel like real life. Passing. Name sticker goblin. Uh, so that means, so I'm going to assume like he's going to die. So I'm going to play battle cry, even though it's one less damage. Okay. Where do I put in prospector? Let's put the horde master in. Land? Okay, Chalice on zero is good. Uh... <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Literally unbeatable! <laughs> Won the unwinnable matchup. Yeah, how, how much damage was that actually? Setting up. We go... I'm, not, I'm, I'm just gonna attack. Make a token. That's a 2-2. Activate battle cry. So that's... Uh, 3... Uh, 5... 8... 12... That's pretty good. Oh my god. I cannot believe I beat Killaby. <laughs> Who needs force of will? Who needs force of will when, when you have Leyland of the Void and Wasteland? Well, everyone, that was a awesome Vile Goblin stream. We lost to Blue Black Delver with some weird stuff going on. Uh, Forcible is antiquated. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Permanents are where it's at. Just play dumb cards with power and toughness. Yeah. Like Goblin Mike. <laughs> uh, so beat Grixis Delver. First match was great. First match was really cool. Uh, we beat... Eight cast, pretty handily. I would not say they had great draws. Uh, they did turn one torpor orb me. Yeah, you know, this this league was a good demonstration of how waste how people will keep hands that are really good against goblins primary game plan that happen to lose to wasteland and uh, torpor muxus doesn't get that. Uh, pivot point in its game plan. Uh, so I, I'd say that's actually pretty significant. We saw the the real high and lows of Ancient Tombs. Uh, like that game two against Killity would not have been, you know, as ludicrously close as it was if I wasn't at two life with my Ancient Tomb because I took like four or six damage off of my Ancient Tomb. Like, definitely could have just won that, like, without clenching every single fucking draw step and needing to, like, run a runner on uh, Horde Master triggers. 
God damn, that was sick though. That was sick. Absolutely can't complain about what that was. <laughs> we beat Gustus the Scepter. <laughs> Cannot believe I fucking won that match. Alright. I gotta go. Time to make dinner. Um, Let's raid somebody. <laughs> I am still like... <laughs> I'm stunned. Uh, Evan, did, did 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 that qualify as entertaining enough to stop watching uh, Mini Versulky, or or have it kind of maybe secondary to Mini Versulky? Uh, check out the Patreon if you are interested in my content more. I've got a soundboard guide for Terramuxus and File Goblins. Um, that's reasonably up to date uh, for both of them. I still like the. Uh, the Turbo Muxus list I have on there. Uh, see you, Jared. Uh, who are we going to raid here? I always raid Sylvia. Um, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's let's raid Beerus. Vinny. Vinny's your favorite player. We got a, we've got like a, a group of legacy players. I know, I know there's some other... I like Julian. Um... Uh, Marcus Ewald uh, are both Brood War fans as well. Um, we got to get, like, Legacy Player uh, Brood War together sometime. All right. Thanks for watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube. Uh, and see you guys next time.